plenty of donations to read in the meantime. Got 150 bucks from Carbon Tim saying, hey, GDQ, been watching for a while now, and I'm glad that I can donate again. Excited for the Dying Light run to see and to see Mass Effect being speedrun. That is right, Dying Light with Fun Cannon and Amarillan um, are going to be played right after the interview with the Left 4 Dead 2 runners, and Mass Effect will be on this Saturday by Letters Words. $150 from... Silfer saying, hello, first time donating and long time watcher. I hope that with such an amazing event brings on the end of cancer. Looking forward to the Left 4 Dead and Dying Light co-op runs. Nothing brings us together than good old jolly cooperation. If $250 donation from Anonymous, God, you guys are generous. Here's to my favorite charity event to exist ever. Hope everybody has a great year and after my 2017 of luck, I think it's time to share a bit of the wealth, speaker's choice. Awesome. That will be going towards playing as the male in the Mass Effect speedrun on Saturday, the faster option. $20 from Alden saying, super pumped for this run. Got all the lads watching. But no foot pedals and wheels for easy hops? That's going to be yikes from me. We got a yikes. 30 bucks from Hacks. Saying, please read during Left 4 Dead 2. I'm sorry, but I can get to it now. To my sweet man, Beast, I'm sorry we can't be together right now. Watching AGDQ together like we've done for years. I love you and I love AGDQ. Let's kick cancer in the boot. Let's kick it <laughs> right in the boot, yeah. 150 bucks from Top Gun saying, this is my first time watching AGDQ live. And I knew I just had to donate during Left 4 Dead 2. I spent so many hours playing Versus with a great group of friends. Cancer is worse than any zombie apocalypse. So thanks to all the runners and staff doing their part to take it down. Ask me a question, I dare you. 20 bucks from Dr. Mecha Kitten, saying, amazed to see Left 4 Dead 2 being run. Never expected to see that. Source Runs was the first speedrun community I ever found, and I love it. Props to you all for saving Noam Chomsky. Heck yeah, man. 200 bucks from Keith, saying, first time, being able to donate to a great cause. Keep up the good work, everyone. Keith, that is very generous. Thank you so much for your first time donation. 40 bucks from Tendo, saying, GDQ, my favorite time of the year. My mom was diagnosed with stage four melanoma two years ago, but thanks to immunotherapy, she has been clear since then. Let's despawn cancer altogether. Obliterate, despawn, eviscerate, decimate. You guys are great with these ways of killing things. 110 bucks from Anonymous saying, my mom survived breast cancer due to early detection. I've watched GDQ for a long time and finally have some money to donate for such a great cause. Half to master mode on Breath of the Wild and half to validating the Zelda, Zelda Link to the Past run. And just in case you guys want to snipe the Dying Light language incentive, that will be ending at the, that will be cut off at the end of the interview that is coming up right here with the Left 4 Dead 2 people. Currently, French is in the lead with about 1,050, and German in second with 475. So go gamesdonequick.com, donate, check out the options, and snipe that in the last minute if you if you want to see your language. And we got 50 bucks from Cheryl Lee saying, Virginia local and longtime viewer. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it this year because of work, but I figured I'd join in spirit. Shout out to the party couch during the Dying Light run. And good luck, Fun Cannon and Amy. 10 bucks from SynthPro saying, longtime viewer, second time donor. I want to just say how much I appreciate GDQ and all the amazing things you do for both charity and the gaming community alike. I just lost my job yesterday, but I still wanted to donate this year. So please take this 10 from me. I have spent the last 10 plus years of my life fighting with ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative colitis, sorry. And it puts me at high risk of cancer in my lifetime. Consider this an investment towards my future. Never stop what you're doing, GDQ. I love you all. Cheers. And I have a big $1,000 donation. from Nifsta saying, love watching AGDQ 
for a great cause. Thanks to all the runners, viewers, and everyone involved in making this such an awesome event. Put this money towards freeing the plebs. <laughs> I don't think so. All right. I think the interview is ready, and I'm going to pass you over to the Left for Dead runners with Jay Hobbs. Or Spike Vegeta filling in for Jay Hobbs 296. Um, what's up, guys? I am Spike Vegeta here at Awesome Games Done Quick 2018 with our next set of interviewees. We have got all four of our runners for Left 4 Dead 2. Awesome co op run you guys just had there. Super exciting, super fun run. I want to talk to you guys just about the fact that there are four of you here. Yeah. And it's something that I remember thinking, you know, I've been uh, in the speedrun community for well over a decade now. And we've had all these solo runs, but it was always an interesting dynamic to take these really talented, hardworking players and actually bring them together for this, not just a two-player co-op, but a four-player co-op. What about that is exciting to you, is scary to you? What, I mean, what, what is this experience like having to do this? Oh, well, it definitely wasn't scary. I get to meet all my friends over here. We got one guy from Hungary right there flying oh, wow. in to participate in our co-op run. I meet these guys online, then you get to the event, and you meet each other. It just brings everybody together, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I want to also ask you guys just, do you find yourself when you're doing it that outside of just, okay, I play as each of these characters, that you sort of almost like a sports team take over certain roles that, you know, one of you maybe calls out the shots, also, just how does that affect you as you go through the run? That you're not just focused on what you're doing and when you make mistakes. If your partner fails something somewhere, how does that affect what you now have to do? Right, yeah. So we definitely do have specific roles that we practice for. Like you could see in uh, when we were in hard rain, like fails would jump off right away to check for items for us. And we'd have somebody going ahead. And then if something happens to him, we'll have backups where we can warp somebody ahead to that guy. Just, in, you know, just so nothing too bad happens absolutely yeah. yeah anything from you guys about just specific kind of i guess excitements that you have for the fact that it gets to be a four-player co-op i mean it's it's hard to like balance out the roles essentially like most of my parts are in swamp fever like those low boosts and that's kind of what i'd say i specialize in basically now. sure just, yeah. and, and those boosts are done very specific timing so it's pretty hard but like, that's something that I practice yeah. at a lot and a lot now. I think we all have our yeah. uh, specific roles that we're good at yeah. and most practice at. Yeah, because some of it's just so difficult that you want to practice it and practice it and practice it and practice it. So it's easier to have one person kind of dedicate to that. Absolutely. You know, so they know what they're doing when it comes time. Right, but we've also played this game so much that yeah. um, in case, you know, one person kind of dies off, like, in heart rain, you had to you had to die. Some of us can take over and yeah. do, continue the run, even though it'll be a bit slower. I feel like it's with four player. It's I get a lot less nervous because they're not just not uh, one teammate, but three of them. Sure. So a lot more backups. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, just real quick, like you get a special on you in solo. That's the end of that. But if you ha if you're in co-op, you've got somebody right there that can back you up and you know save a lot of time. I have to ask, how did you guys, we didn't actually bring this up beforehand, but how did you guys come together? Was it just your four friends, you wanted to play the game, you just happened to be four of the top runners of the game? Um, well, I've known Deagle for quite a long time, so we came into it uh, together. Um, actually, the 2016 run, we watched that and said, oh, that looks pretty cool, we should try give that a shot. Sure. And then we just found so many more things after that. I mostly started up the community because it was kind of, you know, not too many people back then. Then I got the stream up. People saw the stream. They thought, that looks amazing. Fails comes in. Burhack comes in. We find all these crazy things with the grenade launch boost and, and all that. And then uh, there we go. So, yeah. So Fails and Burhack are friends from this community. Oh, okay. Awesome. I want to go ahead and jump to a few social media questions. We got right here from Melon Bread. Uh, what keeps you in love with the game to make you keep running it? I think for me, it's the fact that um, every time you do a run, there's different things happening. Sure. Because of all, the, all of the random elements, it keeps it fresh all the time, in my opinion. Yeah, I got to imagine, again, the fact that there are four of you, it's going to change that every single time, right. how to make those yes. adjustments on the fly. I'd say the camaraderie and all the highlights that we get from the runs that we've done, sure. they're pretty good. <laughs> I like to be part of that. Yeah, I have some highlight compilations of ridiculous things that's happened to us over the time. Oh, my Ooh. God. Uh, yeah. Um, um, hmm, I'm trying to think. 
Do I actually love this game? Do you actually? <laughs> <laughs> these three That's won't let thinking. me stop playing it. <laughs> yeah, like, I like, mean, it, it's enjoyable. I, yeah. I, I like the whole, the RNG of it. There's a lot of it, but it, it becomes more of a game, you know, you have to expect, you know, like, a, diff a ton of different things, and, you know, it it's like a lot of, a lot of quick thinking sure. throughout the yeah. run. It's not like you just do this, 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 and that. Right. It's, you know, sometimes you have to do this. If that doesn't work, you're doing this. If something sure. spawns here, you're doing that, so on and so <laughs> forth. Yeah. I, I kind of like that complication of it, sure. I guess. But I also hate the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say, like, you develop, like, a sixth sense. You know, you know the map layout, so when you hear something spawn to your right, you figure, oh, it's probably up the staircase in, in that room. So, and then you get to react to that, you know. So I have to ask, you kind of alluding it to right there, I, I don't want to get emotional with this or anything, but is, is this the breaking up of the band? Are you guys now going to go your separate no, ways? No, no there's no, going to be more no, Left 4 Dead no, 2 or even a different game that you guys are looking at? Uh, well, definitely we have some more to, to do in Left 4 Dead 2. There's strategies being discovered all the time and really stupid things that the Source Engine does, sure. which I'm sure everybody's familiar with. You never know what's around the corner. What, what, what we're, we're going to discover and be like, why did Valve do that? <laughs> <laughs> so, new things are coming up all the time. And yeah, we have plenty of co-op runs with strats we haven't even really implemented yet that we're going to improve on, and, and solos. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll do some casual games too together. Who knows? Make sure to give all these guys a follow. I'm going to throw out one more question because I just have to know from you guys. It was a game about zombies from jburger116. If a zombie outbreak happened, where would you go and what would you do first? Um, I would probably stay with our friend Moof, who is <laughs> he's right yeah, over just there. Just off camera. Yeah, all right, we yeah. got our bodyguard coming. Yeah, yeah come on, camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. I would probably let's, let's cut to a different camera angle so it's harder to get him on. All right, I would right probably here. stay with yeah, Moof. He is. he is graciously uh, holding us in to his apartment an hour from here, so we don't have to pay all the hotel costs. Yo, and nuts. he has a bunch of pistols and rifles oh, wow. and stuff. So. Yeah, I think he'd be. I think he'd be a good one to stay with. We're talking but purely in the context of a zombie outbreak, ladies and oh yes, gentlemen. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you What do you think you would do first? I would probably just uh, probably hole up in a, my apartment, mm -hmm. not go anywhere too public yeah. because there's <laughs> probably going to be yep. bad stuff happening there. Absolutely. Yeah. I would try to find the closest grenade launcher and fly out of here. <laughs> oh, an aggressive move. I like it. <laughs> Mm, I, I would probably just do the same thing that I do every day, sit in my room and play video games. Just, you know. <laughs> just, don't, just don't try to find a helicopter and fly away because they always crash. <laughs> the, the, game. the apocalypse going around, but we're still rolling deep. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much again. These are the Left 4 Dead 2 runners. Make sure to give all of them a follow. Thank you guys for giving us that awesome run. We're going to go on to the rest of Horror Block. Remember, guys, get in your donations for all sorts of cool prizes, including this awesome PC part set. Uh, for a minimum $40 donation, get to that towards that $150 minimum donation throughout the entire marathon to be in the drawing for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Switch. We got a lot more action right up there for you guys going into the Dying Light co-op run. Enjoy. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. You. Thank you. Hello, AGDQ, my old friend. I've come to talk to you again. I'm Prolix, your host for the next run. We're continuing the co-op action with Dying Light, any percent co-op run by Emerlin and the Fun Cannon. Meanwhile, though, during that interview, we received a anonymous donation in the amount of $1,000. Their comment, lost one of my grandpas to lung cancer almost two years ago. We miss him at the holidays since his passing. Here's to kicking cancer in the backside so hard the boot gets stuck up there. Also, Mail Shep does the Renegade lines better. Oh, so I guess I know what your incentive was. And then, I, I have to say it, another anonymous $1,000 donation. Uh, another, another comment near to, to our charitable cause here. Found out while watching that my buddy's wife just got diagnosed with multiple myeloma. He's been with me all through my career in the Army, and he's a brother to me. Been watching since 2016. Keep up the good work. And ladies and gentlemen, now it is time. We're going to return to the main stage for Dying Light, Co-op Any Percent, by the Fun Cannon and Amerlin. Take it away.
Yep. So. I'm ready when you are. Ready? Yep. Yeah. So uh, I'm Kyle Amerlin Crane. I'm Kyle the Fun Cannon Crane. And, and uh, so we've got I on the couch. I am Shockwave. I am Airwaves. Uh, they're not mic'd, but Lady Kestrel and Lady Cyndaquil over there. All right. So this is co-op, so we're going to be connecting through uh, LAN the entire time. Mm -hmm. And when one important thing is when both of our games are paused, the timer right. pauses. All right. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Haha, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to cheat already? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> well, the muscle yourself. memory from when I load in is just too strong. Um, right. So if you've played this game before, you're realizing that we're not actually playing the intro. Um, that is because that is actually solo only. And both the intro and the outro of the game actually get completely skipped in the co-op run. One of the biggest things that actually makes it faster. So as well, we're actually splitting up the early part of this run. He's heading to the main story objective, and I'm grabbing something important for later. So the first piece of tech you're going to see is that anytime either player runs out of stamina, they're going to kick, because that that gives them back all of their stamina. That corner sucks sometimes. All right. All right. Give me a second. You're too fast, man. I, I'm getting it down. All right, so one of the big co-op mechanics there is uh, the game lets you warp back to your co-op partner if you hold B, and that is very important because it actually lets us split up. Yeah, if we didn't have that, co-op would just not worth be running at all because uh, there are times when we're on opposite sides of the map from each other. And now we're actually switching roles. I'm doing the main thing while he's grabbing a couple important things for later. He's getting something for... Uh, speed boosters, which will be really nice, as well as the same care package that I just got. That actually gives experience when you turn it into the Quartermaster, and um, we might end up with a little more of them than we're supposed to. Don't worry about it. No, nah, it's, it's fine all the time. So <laughs> I managed to step out a little bit. Uh, it's something I can do when I teleport Tim. You'll see that he, uh, he is dressed appropriately. He's got the yellow shirt and the, the flashlight on his shoulder. Same I'm dressed the same. Uh, the co-op run doesn't differentiate between the two players. We are essentially the same person uh, for all intents and purposes. Mm -hmm. So, And throughout the first part of this run, you're, you're going to see us get those phone calls every once in a while. They're just acquired story things that kind of give backstory. Yeah, we're currently working for an organization as kind of a double agent, but kind of not. Yeah, and we also are a zombie already, but not. So yeah. just it, don't worry about it. Well, like... Our screen will occasionally turn green, and he'll hold his hands in front of his face, but mm -hmm. it's not important. And you guys did vote for the French language. Um, keep in mind, it is the fastest language, but the voice acting is absolutely terrible. So, enjoy. Much, much love to the French restream, but, like, the French crane is so bad. All right. It's really bad. So now we're going to actually start duping. Yeah, so this duping thing... Um, it's slightly complicated now thanks to a patch they introduced recently, but they're basically going to multiply a stack of items repeatedly and then transfer that number to other items. So you can see they put their mouse cursor over a certain stack of items which has a high number, and then they're going to pull up that menu so they get that number of items that they're going to transfer over. In between, there's a, a couple frames window they can move over to a different stack of items, and then they can move that item back over and then now basically duplicate the item. So you'll see now they have 8,000 duct tape because yeah, um, now they have 16,000. So now they're going to put everything back into the storage, open the menu to get 16,000 into that quantity menu, and then pull over any other item that they want to duplicate to that number. So now they have 16,000 of literally anything right. they want. And they can oh. start this from anything. Yeah, they need to have a stack of two or higher. All right, that's four mess ups for me. I'm donating every time I screw one of these up because it's actually hard off host. Mm -hmm. uh, my frame window is a little bit different than on host. And you'll see me sitting in my menu here just because um, the game actually Got is it. timed through uh, in-game time. And when the game actually pauses, in-game time doesn't actually run. So I forgot I had to craft that. i got to do one more. All right. So right now, we're not actually losing any time. I promise this is easier than it looks. There we go. All right. Cool. All right. So that was that's always the stressful part of the run for me because I have to dupe a lot more. Um, I have to. Uh, I think I have two or three extra things beyond Fun Cannon because I have to dupe stuff for the speed boosters that we get later. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so they got that supply. Each of them got a supply drop earlier. Um, as I said, that turn, turn that in, turning that in gets XP. They're going to each drop one of these right now, and they're going to dupe them again later. But they're going to turn them in to maximize or to max their survival rank on the tree. It unlocks a bunch of more skills. They'll get um, extra potion abilities, and eventually they're going to get the bottom skill on there is the grapple hook. That's going to really break it in terms of now, because you're not supposed to have the grapple hook at all right now. So they're going to go ahead and buy the grapple hook, and now they've just unlocked a huge movement option right there. And they're going to re-grab their supply package for later. So they can dupe it again for more XP. And another side effect of that is that we are, we have access to really late game weapons, so we are very, very much stronger than we're supposed to be right now. Yeah, they just bought a shotgun right there, which can basically one-shot anything in the game. So they're super powered for like the entire run. I forgot to keep on it. <laughs> Luckily, there's a cutscene here, so it doesn't really matter. I'll let this go while you do yours, and then um, go ahead. This will give me more time, actually. Um, All right, so I'm crafting two sets of five speed boosters here. Uh, I'm going to drop one set of five for him, hey. cool. and that will uh, give him just five speed boosters for this initial part, which is all we're going to need until I dupe a bunch later. And an important thing about the speed booster is that it, it is something that makes it so you don't run out of stamina at all and you run faster as well so it's very very important to run oh that's not right there we go okay so now we wait and now we have a grappling hook and i just broke my legs <laughs> great <laughs> off to a good start sure it's fine i'm stuck on something all right, and the grappling hook actually has a lot of tech with it. Um, if you crouch while you're using the grappling hook, it cuts your grappling hook right there. Um, so if you get a bad grapple or anything else like that, it lets you save yourself. Um, you also have to do the opposite of what I just did there and um, not use your grappling hook too much or you'll run out. Yeah. And the final part is that you can hook zombies with it, which is bad, and it kills your grapple immediately. So like I can, you know, hook a zombie and it'll just cancel it, and uh, that kind of sucks when it happens. Mm -hmm. Another big thing that we're going to be grabbing along the way in a couple of these spots are agility flags. Um, level five agility gives us a big speed boost in terms of skills, so it's um, important for us to grab a couple of these along the way when it's fast. All right, come on, Crane. What are you doing? Crane, please. There are some corners in this game that are really badly uh, collisioned, so you can just kind of climb into them and they have no way to climb out. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm running to this first area. Uh, there's some bad guys here. They're really dangerous and they might kill me. Uh, I, actually, I actually do have to be careful. I wasn't kidding. They, uh, they can get up after I shoot them and kill me. Even with their missing heads or yeah. limbs or any, uh, anything else like that. The game does not expect you to do enough damage at this point to be yeah. able to do anything to them. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really know how to deal with you actually killing them. So I'm, I'm fist fighting a zombie here. It takes a while to kill him. Uh, keep that in mind for later, the, the much later in the run. Because uh, that'll become important. All right. And this is where the game's kind of introducing the night mechanic, which um, they're much harder zombies at night. And luckily, because we are so overpowered at this point, it doesn't really affect us too much. Yeah. Once you get a grappling hook, the knight stops becoming dangerous because it takes zombies a while to climb up buildings, and uh, if you can just grapple to the top of a really tall one, they're not a problem. Mm -hmm. Really quickly, we're just running back to the tower. He Getting... is. I'm, you know. Amy, what did that plant do to you? Listen, it knows what it did. <laughs> All right. Why you got to be so mean to the plant? Deserves it. Absolutely, <laughs> so sad. But uh, one important thing is I can buffer in a B input when he wants me to teleport him, so it saves a little bit of time here and there. Mm -hmm. You'll notice, just in general, most cutscenes are skippable in this. You can either mash through text or just hold space, and that um, makes a big difference. There are plenty, though, that are not skippable in any way. Which is not fun. <laughs> There, um, so there, there are a couple that are a, a little gory. So if, if you're squeamish, we'll give you a little bit of a warning. And this is a horror block, so... You know what you signed up for. <laughs> right. But. 
All right, so we're going to split up again. He's actually going to do a lot more duping. Meanwhile, I'm going to run to the um, next section of the game where we're meeting the main uh, antagonist. You won't actually see him, but we are meeting him, I promise. So Emerlin's going to do the supply packages again to get more XP, and then he's going to max out his legend level. A legend level is sort of like an endgame thing after you max out a, um, a certain tree. You can get experience to buff other general skills like um, stamina, health, um, fist fighting, something like that. So he's going to just dupe a bunch of supply packages, turn them in, and just max out his legend level and get a bunch of extra stat bonuses. Yeah, so it's if you've played Diablo 3, it's a lot like the uh, Paragon levels in that where it, it encourages endgame play uh, beyond actually finishing the game. Mm -hmm. So I'm just getting better at punching, running. Uh, my heart is getting stronger. I'm getting better at stopping my bleeding. And then I'm going to get better at gun. Very important skills. Yeah. I, I got a gun harder. Exactly. Just gun better. Do, do gun better. Yeah, do, do gun. I'm going to do gun much better. <laughs> All right, real uh, quick, they, these guys are nice enough to leave the window open for me, maybe. There we go. Yeah. So this saves okay. just a little bit of time on the trigger here. So I can hit the trigger that's behind the uh, NPC waiting there without actually having to have him move. Oh, that's right, my uh, keybinds get messed up after I dupe again. We both have a uh, pretty consistent setup we use for our items, and whenever anything gets transferred out of our inventory, it always takes a second to get back to that. There it is. This guy real quick, watch him teleport around a little bit. Yeah, for some reason they didn't really think about the fact that co-op was going to be in this, so off-host doesn't really know what it's doing when uh, characters get skipped. Mm -hmm. It is funny though, there's uh, there's one cutscene where a guy will literally just teleport like 20 feet straight backwards and then uh, forward again, because he's supposed to walk around during that. And we've got a bit of a, another phone call here. There's not too much to say, so we're just going to throw it over to do donations. All right, we have a donation of $200. It comes from a grunt who says, I usually try to slip this in during a Mega Man block, but since my pal Airwaves is on the couch this year, I figured I would donate during the Fun Cannon and Amber Lynn's run. Keep up the great work, guys. And that was also split between your uh, donation choices, so congratulations. Uh, we also have Afterlife Killer with a $25 donation who says, I just want to give a huge shout out to Fun Cannon. Without him, I would never have gotten into speedrunning in general. He also got me into the Borderlands 2 community where I made many friends, including Amy. And then he says, love you guys, flanked by hearts. Aww. Thanks, Afterlife. All right. I'm actually going to split off from him again, grab a couple more flags because it's going to pretty much put me at level 5 as fast as I can. Meanwhile, he's just going to be running to the first antenna tower that he has to climb. Yeah, this one isn't the most fun. Uh, there are a ton of enemies around me. And uh, I'm going to try to get in here without killing any of them. So this this is a little iffy, but yeah, whatever. So I'm going to use what I got earlier, which was firecrackers and throw one right there, open this door, and hopefully nothing attacks me. Throw another one, because that one ran out. Turn this on, and then throw a third. And that should distract everything, or I'll just blow myself up. Okay. Whichever. Great plan. Well, All right, well, I made it. It's very easy for him to die there. Um, it's probably one of the biggest run killers for us, um, especially because I have to really book it to this next area. Okay. Um, Bye. I've got both a side quest to grab, <laughs> and I need to get to the second tower before he's right. really done with all of this. So I got it done. I almost missed the zip line there. <laughs> Thankfully, if you hold space, you can just reattach to him. Uh, and I'm going to go back to Rise here while FC climbs the other tower. So this is that side quest I was talking about. We're actually going to use it for warping later. There's just a mechanic within this game. Um, and that's actually one of the more important ones that we grab through, through the run. Another thing to notice with the um, 
the towers is that we can grapple on a good portion of them. We're really not supposed to have the grappling hook at this point, and the game, it, it shows it because um, the later towers actually do have uh, grappling basically disabled and make you climb them. Um, well, it's much, much faster on the earlier ones. So I'm, uh, I'm setting up for my one major contribution to this community. Uh, I found this accidentally. So when he turns out that on that transmitter, I can teleport him to me. Uh, and it's faster in game time if we go inside, turn around, come back out, and then go back in, because it just completes the objective. Ordinarily, we had to wait about 10 or 15 seconds for a dialogue there. Mm -hmm. So, the beginning of this game is kind of a little bit slow and starts mm -hmm. to pick up when we start. Mid towards the end game, it yeah. gets much, much faster. Doing silly things like going out of bounds and. There's a lot of. Breaking silly. everything. Uh, <laughs> As if holding 16,000 duct tape wasn't breaking. Oh, listen, <laughs> he's got deep pockets. We've so been duped, over this. He duped his pockets. He duped yeah, cargo pants. Yeah. He duped cargo pants, then duped the pockets on those. Exactly. Ah, mon ami. So if I actually mash fast enough, Crane just blacks out and completes the dialogue. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're actually going to have another phone call coming up, so another great time for donations for the next little bit. Great. I have a couple to read here. First of all, Crash donated $10 and said, So I don't have an awful lot to give, but I figured I should give it anyway. My mom was diagnosed with ovarian cancer earlier this year. She's already had partial treatment, including a full hysterectomy and chemotherapy. She seems to be on the recovery, so that's good to hear. Keep doing what you do to raise money for this cause. Thank you. And uh, thank you very much for your generosity, Crash. Even if you don't uh, have a lot to give, no worries. Our donation total, while impressive, is made up of thousands of small contributions like yours. And now uh, I will do uh, what I can to raise a little bit more money for us. Here's a $100 donation from Ashiof, and says, hello, GDQ. Uh, Ashiel here, great to see this event still going strong. Been watching since SGDQ 2014, and boy has it grown. Not a speedrunner myself, but I enjoy watching. Lost so many weeks just to watching players optimize their runs. I'll donate another $100 if the reader can pronounce my name right. Okay, so good luck to me there on Ashiel. Thank you. Right. This is our friend Jafar. We threatened to break his legs. He's, then he pays us. He's cool about it. Basically doing oh. extortion right. for the I uh, a little bit. for Rise. Just normal everyday stuff. Yeah. Don't you extort money for a notorious warlord every day? It's pretty normal. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, I accidentally got too many grappling hooks. Yeah. All right. There we go. All right. So this is the first quest warp. If you just change to a side quest and save quit, um, you go to a default location for that uh, that point. It will actually work with the um, main quest as well, but it's never really useful. Yeah. So I'm just going to wait in my menu for him to rejoin me. This does take a second, even on land. Now, we're heading on to meet one of our good friends. He just wants a hug. He's, <laughs> he's that uncle that you like don't really want you to give want you to hug you, but you're like whatever, give him a hug anyway. One little thing worth noting is that they're using the speed boosters. Uh, they can't stack them or use one until the previous one has gone away. I'm gonna cut you in yeah. a second. If you are squeamish to any gore or anything, look away now for like yeah. the next ten seconds. Yeah, yeah this, is, this, is, this is one of those scenes. Here, don't worry, I'll throw some grappling hooks at him. <laughs> <laughs> now you've made him mad. Well, give me a hug. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, so. A little iffy, but. Right, for Apparently, those of you who are squeamish, you can look now, you can look back now. Yeah. Apparently, that's what happens when you throw, you know, 16,000 grappling hooks at someone. <laughs> so that's a bomber, not a boomer. There's a difference. That was last game. Yeah, exactly. This is not Left 4 Dead. So, we're headed to this village. It's to collect more extortion money. Just, that's Ow. a thing we're doing right now. I like how every time I break my legs, the game is like, hey, you should not, you should try not doing that. Luckily, our very strong weapons make very quick work of everything here. So, once all the zombies are dead, 
He has to close that door. And we get to threaten a couple more people. Especially from outside. Yeah. I'm, I'm knocking on the wall, just yelling at him. I mean, why would you use the door? I don't need a door. Close walls are about as good as doors are in this game. Mm, not wrong. So we have to kind of wait on the dialogue here to uh, get to a certain point before we can even do anything where we're going. So even if we make a couple movement mistakes, it doesn't matter for this point. One little detail is that if you're underwater, you do actually move very slightly slower when you grapple. Yep. It's not much, and we rarely ever grapple underwater anyway, so... Alright. French crane, man. Oh, it's, it's, it's a treat. We're actually going to use this yeah. guy to kind of tell us when we can save quit. So his, his name will pop up. I appreciate the French community, but... Uh, the, the voice actor in French just really phoned it in for this one. <laughs> Everybody but Jade, let's be real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even, even the main enemy, yeah. the, like the main antagonist of the game, just does uh. not sound threatening. So. But charity. But, it, but it, charity and French is technically the fastest language. That is true. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> yeah. Not every day can we have Telemundo Crane. That's true. <laughs> Spanish is objectively the best language for this game because it really Crane's is. voice is like eight octaves deep. Mm -hmm. it, it is. He sounds so good. So, he found that guy, and I'm going to be running back to Rise. He, uh, he had like a... He really likes envelope. Raspberry Jam. Yeah, an envelope or something with him, and took a little nap. So, while I'm waiting for SD to finish, I can just kind of... Dork around, running around. Climbing stuff actually does slightly give me experience, so I try to climb a couple of things just here and there. And there we go. And now, probably the hardest trick in the run. I don't know if we're gonna get this. Yeah, there's there's like a 90% chance we're gonna miss this. Uh, but I think we kinda have to anyways. Yeah. We have to at least go for it. I think we've gotten it like twice in months of running. Mm -hmm. So he's going to throw a grenade here. We're both going to kind of stand on it. I'm going to get completely knocked yeah. off. So, no. Um, what would, would normally happen is if we both stayed on the, um, the train car there, we would actually get the call to start. And then this side quest that we're grabbing right now would actually completely skip the dialogue. But we need this side quest regardless. So going for it is pretty much worth it, even though that death warp is absolutely like three or four times as hard as it is in solo. Yeah, it's ridiculously hard to hit. It it, it would save about a minute if we got it right, but on the bright side, now they can try and show off a, a bit of a silly thing with the animations in this game. Because we fell off, I don't think we can do that one actually. Ah, uh, nope. Yeah, so I have to get all the way there. If we both had stayed on it, it would have recognized us both as being there. Mm -hmm. um, there we go. So only one of us would have been required to trig it, trigger so, it. Since we missed it, we've got plenty of time for donations mm -hmm. through the rest of this. All right, here goes. We received a $50 donation from Farty Crouch Jr. He's a second year watching, first time donating. I lost three grandparents to cancer, and understatement, it sucks. Well done, all runners. You're doing a great job kicking cancer's butt. Keep up the heckin' good work, Taylor. You're doing so great, and the group chat is proud of you. Message is signed, Juliana and Brian. Thanks, Juliana. I also have $20 here from Brian Otto, who says, Hi, Fun Ganon. Hi, Prolix. Much love to both of you. Look forward to learning more about this game. Love the grapple movement. Thanks for doing what you do, TFC. And he says, fun cheers, which appears to be an emote. <laughs> and P.S. <laughs> Prolix, you're the best. Oh, thank you. All right. now, now, Prolix, was that actually in there? Or did you just, you just add that? <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, P.S. is postscript or Prolix script. One of the two. I don't know. <laughs> okay. yeah. Maybe both. All right. <laughs> so that was me uh, delivering my other supply drops. So I can now Forgot get my legend levels. Um, and then we're just going to go up and get another phone call, unfortunately. This one we can skip consistently, though. Yeah. This, as long as we do the right thing, this skip is consistent, which is a weird way of saying we get it every time. Exactly. 
I mean, now that you've uh, said that. No, if we if we miss it, I'm gonna be really sad. I got ahead of myself. <laughs> you distracted me, man. You started running up the stairs, and I was like, oh, stairs time. Yeah. So I have to. One of my things is I have to be a really good gauge of whether uh, I'm oh. far away enough to teleport. I'm gonna get up on the tower. Sure. Also, that ramp right there is the hardest thing in the game. Yeah. It doesn't look like it, but it's ridiculously hard. But uh, I have to be a really good judge of whether to teleport to him or run to him because it only saves a small amount of time either way. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be setting up a trick here where we're both going to die on top of the trigger. And that's going to make the game think that when one of us goes back up to hit it again, that we both hit it. And so I can be in a different location. And that will let us skip it through grabbing side quests. The the trigger for that call to happen is literally the entire roof. Um, let's see, I just missed the ramp jump again. I'm telling you, man, it's the real final yeah, boss. It is pretty hard. So I'm going to get the call right here. He's going to start the quest, and I'm just going to teleport away. Mm -hmm. and once he actually starts talking, we can skip all of that. I'm going to quickly try to get some of my legend levels done. And as soon as Jade starts talking to us, I'm going to talk to this guy. And something weird about him is that uh, so throughout the run, only one of us has had to skip dialogue so far. This guy, halfway through, just cuts it out and gives it to the other person. So okay. we'll talk to Jade, and then FC's going to have to skip the last line. Yeah. For whatever reason. We don't know. <laughs> and then we're going to quickly warp back to Gassed Up. All right. So here an interesting bug happens. Um, because of that death warp, it doesn't have my progression properly tracked. So I'm now forever at that quest. Uh, and every time we quit, it's going to try to put me back there. So this takes just a little bit longer to load back in. But true land is pretty nice. Lavash. 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 Crane says something every time you load in after this uh, on every language, and there are only a couple where they're actually good. Mm -hmm. right. In English, doesn't he just scream? He's no, he uh, he says a swear word, which is naughty. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I remember. <laughs> All right. we're, uh, we're good and pure here. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> you didn't take damage, so it's fine. I wasn't looking Boom. at it, so it was okay. That's right. Well, now we're going to school. We need to learn a few things about zombies. Specifically that if you shoot them, they die. This is easily one of the best areas movement-wise in the entire run. It's really fast-paced. Really tight corridors. All the fun stuff. That's not the way. <laughs> Just I can't go like horizontal through that window. <laughs> It, it the works, animations man. for the other person just don't look right, like, any time ever. Yeah. So you'll see a lot of animations that just... Especially dropkick. Especially <laughs> dropkick. Especially dropkick. So I'm going to show off something fun. This guy, invincible until he stands up. So there were a couple runs where I shot him. He stood up and proceeded to hit me in the back of the head and kill me. Mm -hmm. And at this point, we're basically trying to look for a temporary zombie cure-ish thing. Um, it's like one of the most valuable things in this universe. Um, and Rise controls most of it mm -hmm. because he, because of course he does. Because plot. How could it be a warlord without it? Yeah. You know, you got your guns, you got your men, you got your zombie cure. Oh, good shot. Uh, it's one of the big reasons we look for a shotgun in making our save files because it is absolutely overpowered even without the legend levels. So you'll notice I always put away my gun when I run. That's, it doesn't have any effect on your movement, I'm pretty sure. It just, I, I like it that way, because it feels better. There's a boomer behind me, but I'm just ignoring it, and it didn't kill me. Great. One of my favorite things in that entire segment is just that one of them picks up the key, and through the magic of being the same person, they both have it. Mm -hmm. We are the same person. It's exactly. Easy. Uh, these enemies are required to kill, and then we can just kind of get out. And also note, um, so collision between both of them and then also friendly fire does not exist. They cannot shoot each other. Though I can vault off of him. Yes. <laughs> because 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this game is great at being consistent. Yeah. You, I mean, can't you do parkour off your own self? I do that no. every day. Every day. <laughs> Wait, is that not how you get out of bed, FC? No. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. Apparently. All right. So quickly back to the tower. Um, at this point, we're going to meet a guy that we were supposed to meet in the intro, but we didn't meet him. So um, his name is Raheem. He'll last 10 minutes? Something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Wow, spoilers. Here's the thing, though. I really like Raheem. Like, all of the... All of the characters besides Crane in this game are really well written. Crane is just, he has trouble deciding his motivation, and it really kills like any sense of attachment that you have to him. On the other hand, as he said, all the other characters are pretty great. Yeah. Jade, especially, is one of the greater ones. <laughs> so if, if, if I go fast enough there, I can try to run off the edge, and I've never managed to make it. You gotta go fast, man. If you've yeah. never managed to make it, how do you know you can actually do it? Because I, well, oh. hush. Oh. <laughs> All right, and save quitting here actually gets us back downstairs a little bit faster. And this next section is actually one of the only time-specific um, things in the run, so I'm actually going to open my menu to check what time it is. All right. Plenty of time. Plenty. Um, each minute in game is about a second. So I've got about 29 seconds to get to the next thing, including talking to the core master here. So I have to book it. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's just going to be running to the next area after that. Yeah, they have about 25 yeah. seconds to get to the enemy. Yeah, it's a little less than one to one on the seconds. And also, this enemy only spawns at night. Yeah. So they definitely need to get here, otherwise they lose a bunch of time. But we are good. Yep. Nice and easy. Mm -hmm. And then here I'm actually going to delay my save quit a little bit, because it apparently just makes the uh, dialogue skip coming up more consistent. Hopefully I didn't go too early. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. I think it was fine. I mean, as I said, this game is great at making sense. Mm -hmm. So consistent. Also, it just stops searching for games after a certain point. Uh, so if I try to join too early, it's just like, well, nobody's playing on land. All right, we got it. So we're good. Otherwise, I would be able to get there like 10 or 15 seconds early. Meanwhile, it's the objective I'm going to is already active instead. So it's a really big dialogue skip that I don't know why it works, but it does. So we're trying to find Raheem, and uh, we're supposed to look through this entire, like, Oh, that train guy station. Jelly. But Raheem is actually okay, just right through this door. Okay, I think they need more peanut Take butter. Take a break, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Ride the bus. Too many sandwiches. Yep. Exactly. Normal passenger. Yeah. All right, cool. Hey, audience, are you here, by the way? Hello? Hi. All right. We're going to have a little fun with this. So there's uh, competitions in the story mode they're required to do. Can I get this half of the room to cheer for Fun Cannon and this half of the room to cheer for Amberlin? Can we do that? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. There's a prompt on screen. It will count you in. This is the challenge. Yeah. This, so this, this is a, uh, a difficult enemy that we have to kill. Yep. All right, cool. Ready? Right. Three, two, one. We both lose. <laughs> oh. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't worry, you'll get your chance later. Yeah. There are real ones, we promise. <laughs> yeah, so be, because we killed that enemy too early, the game's like, well, there are no enemies left, and neither of you killed anything, so you both lose. <laughs> this game's pretty rude. Yeah. Extremely. Um, here he's actually just going to sit and wait, because... There are really only two things that we need to do in this room, in this building. And even if he got to the second one instantly after I placed the first one, it would still be slower to get out of yeah. this area. So. Hey, Amy, what's so. that thing up in the sky? You know, that's that's a grapple point. Don't worry about it. It'll never be relevant, ever. <laughs> Absolutely I'm not. sure. Absolutely not. All right, let's go hide yeah. in our corner of bodies. Oh, hello. So we just kind of grapple the air and then grapple the ground. Now we're out of bounds. <laughs> and that's a, that's a good indication of how simple it is at times to get out of bounds in this game. And now we're back in bounds. It is uh, 
All right, I uh, I am in limbo, so <laughs> I, need, I need some help. I got you, man. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. No, that it, it definitely it, happens. Uh, the game does not like you going back inbounds after you've been out of bounds. So <laughs> sometimes it's just like, hey, you're gonna wait here for a Actually, little bit. Actually, that's a good point. It might be harder to get back inbounds in dying light than it is to get out of bounds. Uh, it's it's really really easy to get back inbounds. It's just sometimes it doesn't like you doing that. Mm -hmm. Well, to be fair, it's also very very easy to get out of bounds. Yeah. Yeah. There are some times where you can just climb out of bounds. Yep. Not Which yes. any inputs other than just forward. Really yeah. good programming. It's like really easy for a casual player to do that too, which is pretty funny. And there's a couple places where it is actually useful to do that. All right. Havash. So. This is kind of the point where things are starting to go not so well for us in the story. Um, our doctor friend, Zara, has been kidnapped. Um, Rise has pretty much figured out who we are by, the, by this point, and just things are not, not good in general. Yeah. So really quickly, I'm going to run in here for a dialogue skip. We've got a quest right here. And then once the quest actually updates, we can warp. But since it takes a couple seconds, we're both going to get more ammo. Uh, okay, we're good. Then gassed up. So we're going to be infiltrating um, Rise's garrison. It's no longer a safe zone for us. And we're going in through the top rather than just the front door like we would have before. It's like, uh, it's like Santa Claus. We're going to leave presents for him. In oh, some ways, yes, we are Santa Claus. <laughs> Never thought I would say that. Yeah. But here we are. <laughs> Cal Crane, a.k.a. Santa Claus. Oh, God. Yeah, so fire uh, hurts a little bit in this game. And uh, if you wind up standing in it, it drains your health really quick. I know that's kind of a silly thing to say because fire should hurt you in every game. But it hurts a lot more in this game. Note that we are playing on the easiest difficulty. With how quickly we can still be killed by enemies, I yep. have never actually played on Nightmare, and I'm not sure I want to. So there's a clip here uh, that used to save only one second. Uh, and if FC gets it, it will save more than one second. Because it's the new stuff. It's very weirdly inconsistent. This, this part is actually kind of the harder part. Oh, come on. You just kind of like jump at this wall and eventually it just goes through the window. I've seen them get this it. first try there plenty of times. I've seen them. I've seen it take there we go. a nice. long time. So we're gonna save the second plus the second plus uh, all the time we're gonna save for from FC uh, going out of bounds here. If I actually get it, in time. if he gets it. This one is pretty tricky. This is probably the hardest um, side hop clip in the game. It's worth noting that all this attempting isn't really losing time. Yeah, because I still... So the one second saved is I open the door from the other side, and then I can just leave. All right, I'm going to give it one more try. If I don't get it this time, we'll just follow you. Nah. Okay, that's completely fine. It really only saves about five, ten seconds. Yeah, he just activates a, uh, a trigger further on to spawn some enemies. So. But with co-op, he's he's able to go through the door that I opened before I finish opening it. So, slight bit of time save. I would have ended up right here through the end of the clip. Just, but just hooked that guy. I hooked that guy right in the buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be fine. Remember, ignore the door. I can mm. handle that. You got it. Okay, this area is actually very dangerous. Extremely. These enemies can kill them very quickly, and there are a lot of things that can blow up and kill them very quickly. They may be strong, but so are the enemies here. See, I got shot twice there. Lost almost all my health. Just a good chunk. All right, that was really clean. Yeah, nice. Nicely done. <laughs> good job. So, uh, coming up next is the pit. Uh, the pit is probably remembered by casual players as a really, really difficult section of this game. Um, 
it it is in my opinion uh, when I played it unreasonably hard because uh, what they what rise does is he takes away all of your weapons all of your armor uh, everything you have and you have to kill a bunch of zombies uh, with just your fists and you'll remember from earlier in the game uh, when I was fist fighting a zombie that we're not very strong but in between then and now uh, crane has decided to uh, get swole. What was it, 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 10 kilometers a day, every yeah. day? Yeah, 100 crunches, I think, too? I, yeah, something uh, like that. It's been a while. And um, he's balding because of it, something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He also just, like, shoots his own men, but, like, that's... Sure. Yeah, this is also how ineffective Rise is as a villain in, in other terms, is that he has you right in front of him and just is like, hey, let's watch Crane kill some zombies instead of just killing you. Also, audience, are you still here? Woo! Guess what? It's your turn to uh, chip into the run again. This one's real, we promise. This one is <laughs> not a fake out. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So this is an actual competition. Same deal. All right, get ready. Three, two, one, go. Go. <laughs> Come on, Amberlynn, you're losing. Let's Come some on, ground. catch up. Come on, Amberlynn's oh. winning. He's got oh. no dope. He's oh. tied. Oh, he's going get the last ones. Amberlynn takes the lead at the last second. Come on. This is actually a lot closer than normal. Yeah, this is really got close. No. Oh, oh, no. The yeah. fuck cannon's the, the winner. The fuck cannon win. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you got two more later. Good job, crowd. So that, that's one of three forced competitions throughout the run. Uh, another one's coming up in like 30 seconds, and then uh, there's another one a little bit later in the game. <laughs> so guys, I, I promise I'm gonna do better for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So this is actually an introduction to a very annoying en enemy type called a demolisher. They charge you, they have a bunch of armor, and uh, they're pretty hard to kill. The the strat used to be uh, lure him into some spikes and kill them, but now he's right. dead. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Man, I thought those things were supposed to be hard. So they were. <laughs> running zombies are also technically meant to be harder. They have a little more health uh, than other ones, and they dodge pretty easily. But with the with the fist of fury, you just run up to them and. Also, this is the uh, Caesars, we were talking about at one point. Yeah. The sign that the anizen that's in our system, since we're infected, is wearing off. Yeah. And wearing off fast. Because, again, reminder, Crane has been bitten by a zombie and is slowly turning into one. And here, he is giving us a nice little present, a med kit. Yeah. Ignoring this 16,000 we had earlier. <laughs> Maybe he stole it from us. All right, get ready, crowd. One, go. <laughs> oh. I think I vaulted you. <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, they're about tied right now. This could, this climb could actually prove for one of them to fall. There's a lot of rebars over oh, here. Oh, nope. there we go. Yep, there you oh. go. Evelyn slipped. Listen. Oh. He's not Andy, that far behind. He Andy, can still make this up. I thought you said up. you were going to do better. R I am doing better. Yep. RNG can still make this go poorly. That is true. There's still plenty of parts that fun can just fall off. This is, Come on, uh, let's get some more hype in here. This is a let's race. Go. This is a race. That jump right there is my least favorite because the uh, the rebar sticking up out of the ground is just horrifically coated, and it's well, I mean, it's meant to prevent you from going out of bounds, but I don't like that. Ooh. Tried well. to grab the ledge there, but it didn't work. Should I go for risky strides? Go for it. Go do for it. it. You may as well. Got it. Oh, he got hey. it. Hey. Saved a little bit of time. He's making up some ground. Except for he doesn't have legs right now, apparently. He's just going to jump everywhere. Well, it's faster to jump through water than it is uh, to sprint. Mm -hmm. But that's oh, it. Oh, Fun Cannon won the second uh. one. No worry, you can still <laughs> redeem yourself later. As right. long we as have you one get more competition. One. Oops. Oh, wait. There we go. All right, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> you got one more chance. Yeah. Yeah. I believe. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at the third challenge, so. It's true. I'm talking a big game. Yeah. So the game takes away our sprinting completely at this point. It's supposed to be this long-winded, um, like, 
walking section, but instead we're just channeling Castlevania, OOT, whichever you want, and uh, back hopping between them. Yeah, there's an ability that uh, if you press space in a direction, you dodge in that direction, and they neglected to realize that doing that through here is incredibly fast. We do have to dodge zombies and other obstacles while we can't see them, though. Sometimes you just kind of plow them down. To be fair, this is pretty low on the list of things they could have remembered. You know, that's right. All right, now's a great time for donations. Shock, shock what are hands? <laughs> so, Daniel Sun sent in a $10 donation here and says, The fun cannon is who got me into watching speedrunning with his amazing Borderlands 2 runs. I lost my cousin last month at an early age to liver cancer, so this event is very important to me, and I'm glad to see us gamers and everyone at GDQ come together to make a difference. Money to runner's choice. And uh, hey, Amy, do I see a do I see a postscript here? I think it's a PS. Like the fun can is so much better at these competitions than Amy. Oh, <laughs> shot. Just wow. Just, I'm detecting some shade here. <laughs> uh, then we also have uh, forty dollars from uh, uh, Shaky Bone. Time. Uh, Shaky Bone says, had to donate for one of my favorite games that I played with my grandfather. Yes, I swear this donation came in during this run. Uh, Shaky Bone has a cool grandfather. Uh, thank you to everybody at AGDQ for everything you guys do. Let's save the frames, kill the cancer. Thanks, Shaky Bone. Yo, I wanted to play Dying Light with my grandpa. That sounds awesome. Yeah. I'm kidding. All right. So in terms of plot at this point, we're running away from Rise and this... Um, group that we're going to now is fabled to get us out of this part of the city and into a different part of the city. And uh, they do, but at a certain cost. Yeah. This is Chank or Cool Shirt Guy, because that's a pretty cool shirt. I like the logo on it. I, you know, it's the small things in this game. It just shuts the door in your face. What a rude dude. I know. He thinks this cool shirt just makes him all high and muddy. Yeah. Oh, also we cut off Ryze's hand. Yeah, that was one of the cuts yeah. we skipped. Minor yeah. plot point. Yeah. You know. Side note. Yeah, it's whatever. Yeah. Later, oh, back. later in the That's game, so Ryze just doesn't have a hand. And that'll kind of come into play at one of these unskippable cutscenes. So now we have the sewers. Oh boy. <laughs> They're probably the hardest part of this run in terms of movement and the amount of clips that we do. Yeah, it's really easy to go out of bounds in the sewer, and it's equally easy to accidentally get back in bounds in the sewer. Um, since we are just gonna be running to it, though, we have plenty of time for a, another donation or two. Oh, so we've Ooh. had some donations. What? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. that happens. Sorry, uh, <clears throat> continue. <laughs> Oh, no problem. Uh, gravity takes priority uh, here. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> so we've, we've had donations toward our runners, uh, toward yours truly. Uh, here's another one. It's from uh, Is Trick for $150. Uh, I hope this isn't a trick. <laughs> uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, this is my second year watching AGDQ. Thanks to all the runners, attendees, and those behind the scenes who have made this event possible, especially Jacob P. Let's save those seconds and lives. So there you go, Jacob, whoever you are. Uh, someone out there loves you. So this save quit that we're doing right now is actually just to warp the NBC that we're, we have to deal with forward because he is the slowest escort mission that exists anywhere. I, I promise he's so slow. But I thought escort missions were the best part of games. No. They are. <laughs> They're great. I love them. So I said earlier that you could buffer a B input. Uh, you actually can't do that here when you're loading in. So I kind of have to judge it right. There we go. OK. So I'm just going to quickly side hop clip through this really quick. What our fence is. There we go. Yeah, that was oh, it gets better. It's not done yet. There's going to be more of this. There's a lot of out of bounds in kinda here. Kind of grapple there, and you just kind of climb through that grate. Yep. <laughs> it works. This is just kind of this game. Yeah. Hit a couple triggers there to make sure this area doesn't soft lock. Uh, hit two there of them go. there. If I step too far to my left here, I go back inbounds, which is why I've been really careful Hello? about that. That was weird. 
There's another trigger that I had to hit. So I'll go up here, I believe. So this is out of bounds, even though it doesn't look like it. Um, oh well, never mind. Well, you were saying? I think I actually missed one of the triggers. Um, oh, and there's water there. Yeah. So I'm a lot I I just have to go back further on in the sewers, but if I grapple down to here, now I'm back inbounds yeah. where I want to be. Crane, work for me, buddy. Okay, so I climb up to uh, here. I, there we go. I actually have the death warp here, I think. <laughs> Missed the uh, trigger to spawn a zombie, which is very important. It does not work without it. Yeah. So meanwhile, I'm just setting up for, you know, a little further on. Uh, this courtyard is the next major trigger we go through. Okay. Then, right, that's a grenade. That's Wait. probably fine. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's whatever. You have like 16,000 of them. Hmm. Well, it's more just don't want to kill myself. <laughs> get, get down. <laughs> Crane is not paying attention. All right, there we go. Definitely worked that time. Crane seems a little distracted today. A little bit. Yeah, this this is the part of the run where the the most can go wrong. Um, there we go. Just because, like these out of bounds are so finicky. That is not right either. Okay, right, man. Easy every time. First try. <laughs> First try. First try every try. Yeah. If no one knows, no one can tell you differently. And this is kind of the point where you realize that you're being betrayed, that they're selling you out to Rise. Oh. Plot twists. Now, if you do this next section right, I can actually skip the swimming section here, but it's a very, very hard grapple. No, did not get it. Oh, yeah, the best swimming motion, by the way, in the game, you just raise your hands, you swim faster. <laughs> So Feel free to join in. <laughs> yeah. It's it's faster to hold C and swim against the ground. Uh, and if you look down, Crane does this motion. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta raise the water out of the way. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> All right, <we're> cool. <laughs> so it's, as soon as he survives this ambush, I can start moving again. Because it's difficult ambush, by the way. Um, I don't know where he is. Okay. Ooh, 360 no scope, dude. Right. That oh was God. that was terrifying. <laughs> so I have it to still didn't give you. Yeah, the so I, I have to actually wait here for a dialogue now. That should be it. There we go. So I go in here, grab all the way up to the top. And there we go. Nice, nice. So. <laughs> <It's too worse. laughs> Hey, if that's the worst this run goes, I'm okay with that. Yeah. They, if, if that's the worst thing that happens, we did pretty good. Well, who needs legs? Yeah. I mean, clearly you don't. You can just move with your grappling hook. No. Good. Dang it. She's going to fall there. One big thing, uh, note is that even though we can um, teleport to each other, we tend to both go um, to these places. A, to have a backup in case someone accidentally falls or anything else like that. And B, it is actually faster if we go um, at the exact same time and get there because you don't have to wait for the warp animation. Yeah, it's a couple. it saves a couple seconds on warping every time. It's not like the worst thing in the world if we don't make it um, because all, he also spawns in a couple seconds before me. And so he has uh, the couple seconds of movement which, as you can kind of tell by this game, is pretty large. That was a hard fall for no reason. <laughs> that, that just kind of happens. happens. Yep. Just kind of happens. Now, the best NPC in the game yeah. kind of stares at us for a couple seconds like and then asks what's going on. <laughs> Spent a bit too much time out there. It's a little bit of sunburn, you know. <laughs> okay, je vais <laughs> And now we go right back to where we just were. It would be really convenient if we could leave one person there, one person just go to the other place, but it didn't work out that way. This tower is uh, will become important later as uh, an object of hatred for a little bit. 
de tes propres yeux. Reviens vite, c'est important. There's another side quest that we need for warping later. And then we are on to more sewers. Yep. Everybody's favorite. These sewers aren't as fun. You can't go out of bounds in these. They've tried a lot. Yeah. We, we spent about 30 minutes one day literally mm. just looking for out of bounds in one section of the map and couldn't get it. So... That's, well, that's we're not, not there yet. But yeah. That's not saying it's not impossible. It's just we haven't found one. Yeah. You're a little ahead of yourself. But to blow up the ovens first. Oh yeah. All right. I mean, you know, whatever. Yeah, close enough. All right. So there's out of bounds here. My bad. There is not out of bounds later. Meeting our friend Michael, and the basic plan is we're writing a message to the ministry who have taken over the people that we were originally working for, and they're just trying to bomb the city completely, even though there are still living people and not just all zombies. Oh yeah, they just clipped through a fence again. Don't worry about it. It's it's ridiculously easy to do. It just yeah, this you you kind of get up on a fence and then look at it and then side hop through it. Fences just don't exist. Yeah. And I grapple into this room to actually skip the Caesar a animation. <laughs> the Caesar. <laughs> Look, man. <laughs> no bully. No bully. <laughs> man, I think that guy's trying to cosplay his brain. He's got that nice yellow shirt. He just needs a flashlight. Yeah. All right. So, so there's a... There's a bit of a complicated out of bounds here. Um, I'm gonna go for it. It'll only save a couple seconds if I actually do get it. So if I miss it, it's not the worst thing. Mm -hmm. But FC is gonna also go for it uh, because it will help us skip a cutscene mm -hmm. of a baby. First, we will have to do the most coordinated part of this run because we have to uh, try to skip a seizure at the exact same time. Otherwise, whoever misses it has to climb all the way up this elevator shaft because surprise, surprise, a broken down elevator stops working. Yeah. Who would have thought? So this is uh, this is party body. He's just hanging out. Ready? Oh, he actually got out of the way. Great. Go. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. I'm gonna go ahead and climb instead of uh, grapple. Good job, Crane. I at least got it. So good. Really? As long Come as on, one get of us there. gets this, it's My not God. the worst. But it is definitely better when both of us do. There we go. Gonna throw a couple firecrackers to distract the zombies in here. Then we're setting the uh, walkie-talkie bombs. So I can't grapple until I get out of this hole uh, because when you have a seizure, you can't use a grappling hook. It's a known fact. Yeah. I'm trying to go out of bounds right here and. Actually, I heard the zombie spawn already, so I missed my timing on it. Whatever, I'll leave him alone. Hello, please. Out of my way. Oh, that's a boomer. Hey, I'm dead. I can it's a get bomber. You? I mean a bomber, not a boomer. Maybe. Oh, hang on. Just blow up already, thank you. Nope. Not search that. <laughs> there we go. Save the friend. All right. So I actually got it. There you go. Nicely nice. done. So that that is, that's the out-of-bounds I was going for. That's a way, lot harder than it looks. Way harder than that looked. So that um, that skipped the cutscene with a kid that you can actually hear crying. Okay. But I'm now kind of stuck in this room as well. Right. Good. This, this elevator opened. We were doing practice, and this elevator door wasn't open, and I had to figure out a way into here. It was very strange. Yeah. So this is, this is again, this is party body. He's hanging out in the elevator. I also kind of have to wait for Michael to uh, die. get through all of his... <laughs> Look, man, he spoiled it. <laughs> uh, everyone dies in this game. Hey, hey, Amy. What? Why don't you try and push that body to the other side of the elevator? You, so you actually, you actually can't kick him because he doesn't have collision. Oh, that's a shame. Um, but you can... 
you can like run into him with your body and the floor we just yeah. kind of slide to the floor <laughs> oops it's because we skipped the uh, baby cutscene I don't know why but that it, it does so yeah if we could somehow get that body over to that side all the cutscenes are rendered in worlds so you could actually have that body just sitting there yep just turn around and look and he's still there Okay. Um, Excuse me. I'm just gonna ignore them. They're a lot more threatening than they really look. A Other way around. Less. Other way around. <laughs> I can words, I swear. Yeah, words. Easy. Alright. Grapple. Yeah, you can, Hello. You can words better than the voice actors. Okay, that's not a high bar to <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Yeah. So, so another mm. thing is we could be creating competitions through here as you can see, but uh we decide not to because it's slower. It it's makes us stop and wait. It's kind of one of those useless out of bounds that I just did there. You can just climb. I mean, hey, swag strats. <laughs> no, it's only it's only swag if it's uh, slower and loses time. Well, it, or it's slow, lost time, slower so. but looks cool. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So now the level design is going to change a little bit. Um, as we mentioned, they weren't supposed to have the grappling hook as early as they did. So now some areas of the level are going to be restricted for grappling hooks uh, because the game now expects you to have the grappling hook at this point. So they'll have to take slightly different routes than they want to take just because the game's like, no, you can't grapple here. Yeah. So I, I do a little bit of a quest skip there. Um, I find a poster that promotes a challenge and. Uh, that quest dialogue skips everything else in the quest we were looking at. Mm -hmm. So Jade, who we have never met, is uh, is called the Scorpion in game, and she has been captured. So we're gonna go to the museum and find out what happened to her. Closest quest being Rupert the Gunsmith. It's worth noting that uh, if you had been watching all the cutscenes, it would be very clear that Crane has quite an interest in Jade romantically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if we actually did this game with all the cutscenes, I believe it'd be like an extra two or three hours. Yeah, it's yeah. really long. Ridiculous. <laughs> so, got the museum over this way. And note that you can grapple towards the ground to uh, save yourself from getting a hard fall. Because going faster is safer. Yeah, very, very just cause-ish. Just kind of burst into the room, yell at him, ask him what's going on. He looks very scared. Extremely. All in front of his kid, by the way. Oops. Flash a light in his face a few times. Oh, got stuck on the door. I did too, actually. <laughs> All right. And once that actually switches, which it did, we can save quit. Which. If you didn't get enough swimming earlier, you're about to get a lot, a lot more of it. Yeah, it's the worst part of the game. The clinic's pretty close. Clinic is bad, but at least you can, like, mess around there. Fair. Clinic is bad for very different reasons. Yeah. We're also going to be kind of channeling our inner Assassin's Creed here. <laughs> um, I'll just walk off the edge here, land on the garbage. Easy. Just fine. Nothing sharp in garbage ever. Oh, definitely not. No metal, no yeah. needles, no nothing. It's actually because you do that jump, I don't spawn on top of the tower, I spawn down here. Nice. So I'm trying to get uh, agility level 5 here, just by vaulting over these zombies. It gives me a lot of experience. Boing. And night is going to start soon, which will double the experience I get, so I can get it a little bit faster. There's a minor little out of bounds here. I'd say it's probably about five seconds. Got it. Very nice. Right. There we go. So what I was saying earlier, this is the part where we've been looking for out of bounds uh, for quite a while and haven't found any. If we had them, we'd save easily a minute, probably more. Probably. You'd still have to hit the triggers because this game is very, very rigid with those, but it, we'd probably still be able to find some way past it all. <laughs> We're just swimming along. 
So, a great time for donations here. Yeah. All right, so speaking of the voice acting as we were earlier, uh, StabF sent in $40 and said, not sure if anyone has pointed this out yet, but la vache, what Crane says in French, literally translates to the cow. So thanks. <laughs> That's all yeah. I'm going to think about when playing Dying Light now. Yep. <laughs> Yep. Also, I have a $30 donation that sent in from Utsu. Thank you, Utsu. They say, hey, FC, Amy, and Prolix. Good to see this hilariously fun-to-watch run at a GDQ. My grandfather had cancer in his 60s, but because of funding to charities like this, he was able to receive immediate treatment. Put my money to Shockwave's choice. So, pop quiz Shockwave, the uh, donation people. I will get back to you on that. <laughs> I am not prepared for that. <laughs> break, break more witches, all collectibles. I'll get back to you on it. <laughs> and wow. uh, one more here, just to up the stakes a little bit on our competitions. $20 from Das Holy Fork, who says, been watching Games Done Quick for a few years. Thanks to all the runners and staff that make such an amazing event possible. Gerda, go fast. P.S. This run is amazing. That was their P.S., I swear. Another 20 <laughs> if Amerlin takes the third challenge. Yes. I just drop kicked a door accidentally, so it's not looking too good for me. <laughs> <laughs> I see you, you got to throw for charity. <laughs> That's no fun. You're What's right. more important, I gotta, pride or twenty dollars? I got to work for it. <laughs> mm. That's true. All right. He probably wouldn't donate if I'd see just through. It's another kind of scary fight. Um, yeah, because we gun very good, but they also gun very good. It's basically a glass cannon versus a glass cannon. Yeah. Um, Are you sure it's not a fun cannon? Oh Ooh. my god. <laughs> No, I'm just stop. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to. Um. So if I lift this uh, shutter for him and he goes through it and then runs away really fast, I take the seizure for both of us and he doesn't get it at all. Taking one for the team. Yeah. It's important. I like those competitions. <laughs> sorry, too the soon? BM. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I live with him. I have to deal with this later. So. That's true. <laughs> This is one of the biggest reasons, uh, reasons why we level up Vault. You can just kind of jump over all the zombies in this section. Yeah. It used to be a problem for me to hit level 4, which is why I routed in those flags. Oops. And uh... These zombies are actually stronger than normal, but if I throw grenades and or, or things, they can get cleared out pretty quick. Should be it. The only problem is you can't tell when a lot of these are dead because of their um, markers on the... Remember, let me open the door. On the, uh, on the actual map don't appear. So every once in a while, they'll just be laying on the ground, not dead, but you can't tell. So this is Jade, our love interest. Um, she's, she's very well written. I actually really like her character throughout the game. Uh, Honestly, she's probably the best written character. Yeah, in, probably. in equal combination with Ryze, who for all his posturing is actually pretty cool. He has a lot of, he had a huge potential to build. Yeah. Also, uh, audience, you still here? All right, start so, warming up. The competition's coming up. Last one. Last one. Can you redeem yourself for twenty dollars? I less you better. <laughs> I'll do it. I believe. Hold up. I'll give you a little uh, quick shoulder massage. If, if you don't, it up. just know that if you don't pull this off, you're gonna have to live with that. I'll have to live with the fact that I lost all three competitions. Not only that, but you lost twenty dollars. Get charity. ready. Uh, I took away my firing. Three, two, one, go. Emerald's starting off super strong. Oh, already got man. 10 kills versus uh, Fun Cannon's 4. That Destroyed so fast. Fun Woo! Cannon! Well done. So I actually have a little bit of advantage there. The zombies spawn closer to me, but forget I said that. I totally crushed that hey, one. No, it's okay. FC had an advantage in competition, too. That's, That's right. That's it's even. So there's some clever bookending here. Um, they never focus on it directly, but you can actually see a bite on Jade's leg right there. Um, she got bit as in fact infected, and Ryze has the biggest throw in the game. Left-handed because we cut off his right hand. And uh, also, you managed to grab it and also not pull the trigger at the same time. So <laughs> and there's a needle. So everyone in this universe is just really good at baseball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. 
We've got time for a donation or two. Yeah. Yeah, here's White Scythel with a $40 donation. It says, with the recent scare of my father having both kidney cancer and prostate cancer, and with him coming back kicking, now is a great chance to make sure loved ones can get the help they need by donating. Thank you. We also have a donation from Xenogeist of $100. says, AGDQ is always a blast to watch. Thank you to the organizers and runners for always making this event great and for supporting such a worthy cause. So I'm going to hop in real quick. Anyone who might suffer from motion sickness, if you've made it this far through the run, you definitely want to look right now. Basically, if you play the Far Cry 3 hallucination sections, we're going to do that. Yeah, it, it's quite something. Once we actually open that door and get to this part, we can actually use a speed booster. Um, makes it much faster than trying to slide up through this, which used to be the strategy for a long time. Mm. Yeah, blind side hops and back hops through this was, um, it was a thing. Yeah, and it's not like the other one where there was a map to kind yeah. of guide you. This one's just pure muscle memory. Mm. Good luck, hope you remember. Mm. It's kind of the throwbacks of all the things you've done in the game so far. All those things that you guys never saw. <laughs> also, lens flare. Lots of lens Lots flare. Lots of lens flare. Yeah. yeah. Because motion. Yeah. Well, this is the process where we're supposedly becoming a zombie. Um, and Jade is right there next to us doing the same thing. Yeah. Apparently, zombies are really introspective. <laughs> I mean, I'll, if I had to, you know, think about my life this much, um, I'd just start fighting weird. people. That's not okay. Whatever. No, no, no. Let me get up there. Okay. No, well, Emily could catch up and beat you, even though it's irrelevant. It's not even a competition at this point. Everything's a competition. I mean, can, yeah, everything's a competition. Can get a little bit of boost on this moving part if you run at the right time. I've, pretty minor. I've never been up there when it moves, so I didn't know what to do. Because <laughs> he always beats me through here. <laughs> All right. Speed boost run out, but it's not really worth it to get another one because the end of it is right here. More right. or less. And we're going to give the uh, other warning for the other scene here. If you hate really tense moments or basically a zombie right in your face, look away for probably the next, like, 45 seconds. Uh, it's, yeah. It, it's a little bit further from here. It's but like two or three minutes from now. Yeah. But just just get well, ready or so. Be yeah. ready because <laughs> it's... um. If you dislike gore, we'll, we'll tell you when to look away. I mean, this one is questionable too, but... Yeah. But we can throw it to donations for at least a little bit. All right, here is a donation of $40 from Flemlazoid, who says, Hey there, AGDQ. Been watching for several years now. I've lost count, and I always look forward to these events. Can't donate as much this year. Houses and babies are expensive, but I'll always squeeze a bit for you guys. Have a great week and good game. Well, you know, if you just uh, sell some of those houses, there will be plenty for charity, but uh, never mind. <laughs> we've, we've also been receiving a lot of donations uh, in memoriam uh, for uh, loved ones, memories of loved ones. Uh, I'll touch on more of them later, but just this one from Anonymous, uh, $10. They said, thank you, AGDQ, for this great event. This donation is in memory of my father who died at 57 years old to esophageal cancer on January 11th, 2016. It's also in memory of my girlfriend who died at 27 years old to leukemia on February 3rd, 2017. I love them both and miss them terribly. I hope that my little donation can help someone. Yeah. Thank you all. This is the cutscene, by the way. Again, look away for like the next 30 seconds if you don't like some yeah. things. Yeah. Those poor guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's this missing hand, by so, the way. So yeah. Jade is turning into a zombie here. Because she gave us the anism. Yeah, so, you know. We, we really got to... It's, it's very sad. It's very dramatic. Gotta, gotta pour one out for her. <laughs> Rest in peace, Jade. <laughs> All right. Cutscene is over, by the way. Yeah, you can, yeah, you you can, can look, look again. <laughs> yeah. And if you weren't looking, welcome. <laughs> You missed things. <laughs> Jade's got some speed potions. Yeah. <laughs> Jade's, Jade's going fast. Oh, this is a boss, by the way. Yep. All right. Well, no, that was. was a boss. 
There's supposed to be a bunch of other enemies too, but all you have to kill is him. So they give you his machete there. Um, neither of us need it, so we just drop it instantly. They also took away all of our things, even though there's no reason they would have been able to. I don't know. Call him a shame there. Yeah. Right into it. Also, kind of put yourself into the shoes of the two enemies we're about to come up on. Two men <laughs> side hopping at them. Who are with identical? Fist bared. <laughs> I have two identical men side hopping at them. <laughs> Just run up on them. <laughs> I would have ran. I don't know about you. I'd listen, I'd be out of there. <laughs> Same. Okay, try. J'y vais. And here's all our stuff back. Maybe. Hello? Uh. uh that hmm. is new. What? what? <laughs> can, we, can we leave? Do we? Uh. 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 Okay. Uh. That has definitely never happened before. Hey, there you go. Nope, that's that's just me searching a guy. Um. Save quit? <laughs> Try it. <laughs> um. <laughs> Did we miss a trigger? I didn't Did think there were triggers that. I didn't think that. there were triggers in that one. <laughs> we never missed them before. <laughs> I thought the uh, speedrunning uh, tutorial live was tomorrow with <laughs> Strider. No, I mean, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> that was harsh. <laughs> wow. All right, so, so run back all the jokes we said. Let's, let's <laughs> So yeah, just imagine being in these people's shoes. <laughs> oh, it takes me forever to load in. And also, you can't side hop too fast or Crane will jump. Uh, so we kind of have to have a little rhythm between uh, the side hop clicks. It is nice that they did not make us go through the whole Jade part again. Yeah, that would have been bad. <laughs> Okay, there we go. They're really good at dodging in this game, and it's kind of annoying. He learned from previous mistakes. We might have killed the guys too fast, because I don't I think guess. we got that dialogue. Wow, you guys hey, went you got your stuff too back! There we go. Hey. Hey. This Start is what you get for going too fast. <laughs> yeah, I think it was that we killed the guys too fast, because I, I didn't hear the dialogue. I guess. That's literally never happened. Okay. <laughs> nice achievement, by the way. Thanks. Um, Have you played this game before? No. Back to fan zone. <laughs> no, they're just really good at blind runs. It's only actually achievement progress, even worse. <laughs> All right. This part is just a little bit of movement, so yeah. another donation or two, it's perfectly fine. All right. Uh, we have a comment here from a Dirk who sent in $50 for the Prevent Cancer Foundation and said, I lost my grandfather to cancer six years ago, and he was a huge source of encouragement and inspiration. I have to donate during Dying Light because I love seeing one of my favorite games horribly abused. And an anonymous $40 donation says, I love that you guys are doing this. Four people in my extended family have had cancer before, and one lost the battle. Let's kill cancer. I almost just clipped into something stupid. I guess it wouldn't have been the worst thing. Okay, that weird thing happened again. For whatever reason, sometimes Crane will just not grab the ledge. Yeah. I don't know why. It's a, it's a slightly worse problem a little bit later in the game. He just wants to spice it up. Right. So, got more sewers, believe yep. it or not. Thankfully not. Not nearly as yeah, bad. Not as bad. But we do actually get to split up again soon as well. I know you've been missing that one. I know. I just I can't stand to be away. Uh. All right. That. that okay. What? Interesting. Ah. Uh. Cray, do you know what a floor is? I don't think Crane knows you what can anything go is. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Crane sees things and Crane just goes straight through them. You guys it's his favorite thing. The grappling hook is buggy to say the least. Yeah, just a little bit. 
When we were doing the uh, calls earlier, you can grapple hook during that, and Crane's feet will lift off the ground, and he'll just kind of hang there for a little while. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get to show it off, but it's pretty great. This is another out of bounds we were talking about. Um, this one, I, I'm actually not sure how this one got passed. Uh, <laughs> the QA. I mean, I, I well, love, I love QA testers, but. To be fair, this one is semi-precise. Okay, that's true, but we're out of bounds. You just like grab, grab the top of the ledge and just go through the wall. It's yep, sure. There we go. Right, cool. So a couple triggers that we do have to hit by going this route, um, or else we can't. Nice save. Go the rest yeah. of the way, but. Oh no. Get in there. Okay. So spawning those zombies is the trigger that we needed. All right. um, so we're perfectly fine now. He's going to go over the map and get to the exit probably before me. Though I'm not too far behind, actually. And nice. yes, he did hit it from behind. Yep. Oh, okay. and it, uh, it suddenly becomes day there. Yeah. Crane just phases through the door and then opens it. And funny enough, we actually aim for the shallow end there because it stops our momentum faster and you don't go as deep into the water. Great diving etiquette. Yeah. Perfect. So coming up is the broadcast station. Um, I have to be really, really precise with my grapples or we lose a few seconds. Uh, there's a specific pattern I use to get across the water and then up the hill. And if I mess it up... We're gonna have to wait. And man, finally, we actually get the key card. Mm, oh, it was first try. Oh, I messed it up. Dang it! That key card is always in the same place. Mm -hmm. So All right. I get to wait here like an idiot while I my grapple recharges. Crane gets really excited, even though it's been a whole ten seconds since he was told where it was. Mm -hmm. So none of this part. Um, requires either of us to be in the same place. So I can just start climbing the tower. Meanwhile, he's doing all the main story yeah. objectives. So I'm distracting all the zombies with firecrackers because it's easier to have them off my back than to kill them. This tower is the one we mentioned earlier where you basically cannot grapple. There is one place in the entire tower where you can grapple. Right here. Okay. That's so, it. So there's something fun. Ooh. That guy just smacked me and I saw it coming from a mile away. So something fun about this uh, this animation that I'm about to do, if a zombie hits me at any time, I have to redo the entire thing, which includes reopening the box. So they just assume that you were like, hey, uh, you got hit, close the box. Well, the zombie closed it for you, man. Yeah, exactly. It's just nice. It's common courtesy. So I have a bunch of grenades. I haven't been using them through the run. Might as well use them here. But you're gonna run out of your 16,000 grenades. Oh no. I mean, we did try to find a way oh, to no whoops. delay it uh, in practice. Uh, this is uh, probably fine. Yeah, probably fine. <laughs> Sadly, you can't animation cancel grenades. Yeah. Oh, we never, yeah, I never mentioned animation canceling. It's a small thing. Um, whenever I use a speed booster, I cancel to the grapple hook and then try to use it, and that cancels out the remaining animation of the, uh, the speed booster. Mm -hmm. We've been doing that all run and just. We never mentioned it because it's really easy. Yeah. Really minor speed tech, but it does make a big difference. Um, and here we're supposed to go back through even more sewers. But instead of that, we're just going to warp to the end and go through the end and then come back out and it's going to count. So. Yeah. It's really nice that there are no actual triggers to hit in there. It's mm -hmm. just the end one. Hooray, loading. <laughs> It right. kills me. Everyone's favorite. I know. It's great. Oof, that load takes a long time. Mm -hmm. Crane also just punches a metal gate and it opens for him with no consequences. Yeah. <laughs> just don't worry about it, it. All that reminds me of is like in a mirror's edge when you're running and you like slam your forearm into the door. All I could think of is, man, you will break your forearms after about two minutes of that. Absolutely. <laughs> You wouldn't have forearms at yeah, that exactly. point. <laughs> like, they'd just be gone. All right. 
So coming up is probably the most boring part of the run, but there are at least cool things in it to make it more exciting. Um, the clinic has a bunch of dialogue that's going to uh, run through the entire time that we have to wait through, that there's nothing we can do. But yeah. it's only about a five, six minute area, so it's not too, too bad. Um, plenty of time for donations right now, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, during that time in the clinic, I encourage viewers to donate. We'll play a little game, uh, leave a PS in your comment, and we'll play. <laughs> did you actually write that, or did Prolix make it up? Okay. <laughs> Get your donations in now, folks. It's all for charity. All right. Uh, we have a donation of $40 here from Escape Room Herndon. He says, Dying Light was one of my favorite co-op experiences, and it's so much fun to see it done so quickly. Thank you to all the runners and everyone else involved for everything you're doing for such a good cause. Oops. Hey, hey. Kind of launched that a little bit. I'm, I'm going to show off a fun animation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is the drop, drop kick ability. <laughs> <laughs> Crane's, just ridiculous. That's, that's, great. <laughs> that's, that's not like he's doing a glitch or anything. That's just actually how it is. Yeah. Run, <laughs> sprint, jump, press E. And just fall. Yep. <laughs> Uh, just interrupt me if you need to. I have another uh, $40 donation here from Helsing Fan, who says, thank you to all the runners who helped put on a great show for this event. My mom just started chemotherapy today, actually, and I hope that someday we can all beat cancer together. Thank you, Helsing Fan, and we wish your mother well. Uh, and just uh, speaking of the uh, donations, again, a uh, note about the prizes available right now. There's that entry-level gaming PC. Oh, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hmm. Uh, <laughs> oops. <laughs> okay. Uh, you might have to. What are you doing? You, I, <laughs> you might have to death warp. Yeah. How did you do that? How do you. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> We're learning so much today. <laughs> Again, I, I don't think that has ever happened. I mean, I've never grappled there before. So <laughs> also, also Fog Cat is out of bounds. Yep. Just I know climb he's out here. To hit the other uh, important Wait, triggers. Here. Anyway, sorry. You were going to say, brothers. You were saying. I mean, the real yeah. prize here is us all just being able to watch this run. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the message. Uh, is it too late for like tis the season type of thing? Okay, yeah. <laughs> the message of the season is, yeah, the run is the true gift. Uh, we have a $150 donation from Scribs J, who says, Hello, AGDQ. Looking forward to the horror game block. Good luck to the runners. Let's beat cancer while playing games. Uh, thank you. But yeah, prizes. Uh, yeah, so the $150, speaking of, will get you an entry for that 8th generation uh, console bundle. We have the uh, entry-level gaming PC available for $40 right now. And just a little bit of time left to donate $50 or more and get that octopus AGDQ banner. It has some some very dadly art on it. Um, I love LLK's designs. So having fun, Amy. I'm having so much fun. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so so here's the thing about dropkick. It doesn't gain your melee bonus. So he drop kicks him real hard and then doesn't kill him. Yeah, Crane is not very good at drop kicking, is he? There you go. Hey, nice. uh, not dead. Nope, he's <laughs> dead. He can just keep going. <laughs> also, I'm back out of bounds. <laughs> you just kind of climb up there again. Um, doing what we've been doing the past couple minutes is actually the fastest thing, though. Funny enough. Yeah. There's a lot of that. Like. You'll you'll notice that any time I step out of this room, a uh, the the objective switches back to here, which means we have to stand in this room and listen to Camden talk to us. Yep. And I'm actually trying to hit this lab storage trigger. There we go. You can get it early, but it's a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly where you need to be or what you need to do, but it just works sometimes. And other times it doesn't. Once I hit those three buttons, I just have to wait a little bit longer. Please don't clip through the wall again. Yeah, that would actually be a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to. I'll do my best. I mean, you're especially good at clipping today, aren't you? <laughs> Apparently. Uh, unfortunately, Hello. you're a bit too good at it. So now the zombies are going to have a little bit of a rave. Dance party. Oh, we can show off our new dance move. 
We're not swimming, but you know, it's a rave, so it's <laughs> close enough. So if I uh, <laughs> <laughs> drop cake, or you just drop duct tape, <laughs> good enough. I just vaulted on you instead of kicking you. Whoops. Oh well. You tried. You kick your partner? I mean, you know. It's another spot where you can actually climb out of bounds. Got to show it off. Of course. For the swag. And then hit the trigger from the top. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm, I'm still here. Yeah. So that's the clinic, thankfully over, and we're about three minutes from the end of the run. Mm -hmm. There's uh, not much left. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you don't get to do the finale, which at least gives closure to the run, but. Albeit not amazing closure. <laughs> Wait, you don't like QTE bosses? J'ai vu Camden. Il a étudié les échantillons de tissu. Yeah, the, the final boss is just a series of quick time events, and it's not fun. Yeah. But French rise, right? Yeah, exactly. Luckily, we do still have some tricks left to speed up this last little little bit. Yeah. So this was like a big problem point for us for a while. Uh, we're supposed to go through two pretty long phone calls, and uh, as you saw earlier in the in the run, we can skip phone calls by dying. But this is really precise to get, and. Uh, oh, missed it. There we go. The that first one isn't that bad. Yeah. The okay. first one is okay. Yeah. I'm in. Yep. Okay. If I back out enough on here, I can throw a grenade in, even though it is a safe area. Yeah. And this death warp um, brings us back to the, um, the safe zone that was nearest to us. Um, we used to have to go back to the tower in tandem and then um, do another death warp only this time the actual trigger to throw a grenade um, is limited even more. Yeah. And so it was a huge pain and not consistent in any way. So instead, because of that same uh, mechanic we used to skip the GRE call back in the tower, um, he can actually just run up here by himself, hit the call. Hello? OK. Uh, all right, I'm in. <laughs> and then warp over to me, which will skip the first part here. And we're not, part. we're not just moving slow to move slow, it actually does restrict your movement yeah. in that way. The game still thinks we're in the first phone call, but yeah. now that we've skipped the second one, we are completely done, and the time is coming up once yeah. we hit the, once we both hit the red door, which is very soon. Yeah. It's done pretty well. Besides sewers, I don't think anything went really wrong. And yeah. the, the stash. Okay, but like that wasn't our fault technically. That, I mean, you also <laughs> did the clip through an elevator. Okay, again, not my fault. <laughs> that is not true. That was completely <laughs> your fault. Listen, Crane's, Crane's just uh, not bound by mortal humans. Collision. Yeah. Collision has yeah. no effect on him. Time's coming up in a second, though. All right. Ready and, and time. Time. <laughs> RTA was 132.02. Wow. That's that bad. was like really, really close to world record. Yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah, actually. With all those mistakes, even. The save files normally starts at a 23 for me, and I moved around a little bit before, so it's probably like a 24. So yeah. it's probably a 123, which is extremely close to our PB. Yeah. World record is a 122. Yeah. 122. And uh, RTA is a 131. So awesome. that was like really good. That yeah. Without well done. Right. So. Right. And before we go good. off, can we actually get a, you know self applause to the crowd? Thank you guys for cooperating during the competitions. Thank you all. Amelyn redeemed himself as well. Can we round of applause for Amelyn? <laughs> Two out of three wins for Fun Cannon. Anyway. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks. <laughs> One more time for Amelyn and the Fun Cannon, please, everybody. Fantastic run there. I had a lot of fun with it.